the Intel Postfile Utility functionality. Starting from the version of PC3000 Flash 6.4, it became possible to recover data from SSD drive based on Intel Postfile controller. The complete list of supported families and the supported drive um, based on Intel Postfile controller you can find in reference book. Uh, also, the files of reference book you can find in your personal update boxes. Uh, right here you can see the uh, list of supported families. It's Intel X25, Intel X18 and Intel 320. Uh, all these uh, families are based on the same controller. It's Intel Postal and the marker of this controller you can find right here. Uh, in current demonstration we uh, will show how to recover data from uh, Intel um, 320 series drive uh, which is connected uh, to PC3000 controller. Let's make power on, launch our utility uh, and right here we see that uh, software automatically detect the family and the series of s connected SSD drive uh, and if you will check it, mm, click on auto detect, uh, we will see that um, our SSD drive was selected correctly. Uh, also, mm, after starting the utility in the main log, we can see uh, some useful information about our drive. Uh, first of all, uh, we can see here the capacity of our drive, it's 88 GB, uh, the count of channels. Uh, we have 10 channels, the count of logical chips and um, logical chips IDs. Uh, exist two main uh, ways um, how to reach uh, the data uh, in this SSD drive. Uh, the first one is um, the way of using tech command. Um, our utility will send special tech command on SSD drive and uh, uh, after that we will be able to reach the data. Um, the second one is uh, the way based on uh, building uh, translator. Uh, this way is more complicated but uh, in fact it uh, provides much better result uh, in most cases than uh, tech command. And um, in our demonstration we will show you um, the both ways of um, uh, image building, of um, getting access uh, to the user data and uh, for now let's start from the uh, translator tables way. We should to select the test option, service information, translator and build a translator. Uh, utility asks us to um, uh, make enable extended tech mod and it uh, means that uh, for now will be uploaded um, external microcode to the SSD drive uh, and um, the count of available command will be mm, increased and we will be able to um, make some operation with uh, service information in this drive. And we see that microcode has been uploaded correctly. Um, also in our SD drive uh, utility have found uh, several models. It's a um, remap model which is contained information about uh, bad remap uh, sectors. Uh, it's um, STX F5 model, uh, the main um, STX uh, model with, which contain information about translator tables um, and some uh, other models. Right here we can see that uh, it found uh, two uh, versions of STX FB models and um, in um, during the translator building we will be possible to uh, choose different version of STXFB models. Uh, and here we can uh, see that uh, the main model uh, remap, the model of STXF5 and STXFB have been found. Uh, every time when we use uh, this mod, uh, we should to select the highest value of um, our versions of our copies of the model. Uh, right now we should to select remap copies number 3 and uh, let's check um, different uh, different versions of STX FB models. We can see that Utility found three different versions of this model and we should to select the highest one, version number 2. 
it found only one stxa5 model so we should leave it by default and right now let's press ok um, utility required some time for um, for combining these models uh, and um, after that our translator will be rebuilt and we will try to create a new task So our test was complete, uh, but before we will try to uh, reach the access uh, to the user data, uh, we need to switch um, our reading uh, our reading mode. For doing this, we should click on um, utility status icon, um, jump to reading settings, and select way of reading translator tables. Then press OK switch to utility selection, uh, launch kernel mode and select our connected SSD drive. Right here we can see that our drive is connected to uh, PC3000 controller uh, and the bus is PC3000 utility. Uh, we can see the uh, whole capacity in LBA of our drive mm, and Let's create the task. Right here we can see our SSD drive, which contain uh, only one partition. Uh, it also contain NTFS file system and the whole root with a lot of different folders. Uh, they are marked mm, with green mm, point and it means that uh, the data inside these uh, folders are in good stuff and we can we could save it, uh, we could mm, uh, make some operation with this saved data and it's a good sign. Also uh, this chips node will be available only in case if you will reach the external tech mode. Uh, in case if you will use only a common tech mode without external uh, settings, uh, this node will be not possible to reach. And uh, mm, it uh, means that we will not be able to make any operation with these memory chips like um, saving the dumps and uh, making some operation with these chips. Anyway, uh, our main aim of uh, getting data from this SSD is reached and we can see mm, here the complete uh, list of our folders. Uh, right now let's try to uh, use the second way of um, of building image mm, uh, of uh, getting data from this drive uh, with um, the help of tech command. Let's click on utility status, reading settings and let's select our tech command. As you uh, see here, uh, with the help of tech command, we are able to use uh, several data transferring mode, not only PO like in uh, translator tables, but also uh, different types of UDMA. It means that uh, if we will set the UDMA 133, uh, we will be able to reach the data much more faster and we will be able to save data uh, from uh, our task much more faster than with the PO mode. Mm, unfortunately, uh, translator table uh, does not allow us to save data with uh, such high speed, but mm, tech command will be possible to do it with UDMA speed. Let's press OK, switch to our utility. Uh, and um, uh, after applying reading settings, we shouldn't to create a new task. Everything that we should do is just to refresh our result and open our SSD once again. Right now all data is read with tech commands and we uh, can see that the result is still perfect. And um, all folders are good, all data inside these uh, folders uh, in the good stuff and uh, and we can save it. 
uh, as I told uh, before, uh, the uh, way of reading with uh, translator table is um, provide much better results than uh, reading with tech command. Uh, that's why uh, in most cases uh, it's better to start data recovery uh, with translator table mode of uh, reading data. Uh, this is um, the whole procedure how to build uh, the translator with translator tables mode and uh, how to reach data with uh, tech command mode. Uh, and now let's um, shortly speak about uh, different tests available here uh, with our SSD drive Intel 320. And let's speak about uh, other functionality of current utility. Mm, the whole functions of uh, this utility uh, presented uh, in test option. Also, um, the whole um, options uh, like service information, user data, drive test and factory reset are presented um, in this field. And they have the same functionality. Um, for example, let's start from service information. Uh, of course, we are also uh, see how to uh, use translator uh, and uh, build uh, a translator uh, with the help of translator tables and with the help of uh, different models. Uh, and also this uh, service information option um, uh, contain uh, other functions like uh, read SSD microcode. Um, this possibility allowed us to uh, save uh, some information from this drive like firmware, a loader like a kernel uh, model in our uh, SSD profile folder. Uh, and um, it may um, help us to uh, create a, a database of resources uh, which will help us in uh, probably in uh, next cases with uh, the same SSD drive. Uh, also we can uh, upload microcode from database or from folder. Uh, we should to select uh, the path of our folder and upload it and uh, other features. Um, also the test option include factory reset uh, option which allow us to uh, make full uh, factory reset of uh, connected drive, uh, erase all information uh, on this drive Mm, uh, all service information, all data information and restore drive functionality. Uh, we will lose all user data uh, but at the same time we will get fully healthy SSD drive to use in other PC uh, configuration and uh, this drive will be fully workable. Uh, but of course in our case we shouldn't do it because we will erase all user data. Uh, the other option is save and dump with removing all transformation on the data. Uh, the uh, typical sign of Intel Postwell SSD drive is that all of them have uh, full hardware um, data encryption. It means that uh, the old data which is saved on the chips uh, are encrypted with special AS um, key. And um, without re-encryption it's not possible to uh, get uh, this data from chips. Uh, if we um, uh, launch the extended tech uh, mode, we are able to save dump uh, with removing all transformation uh, on the data uh, to our PC, to our hard drive. And uh, after that, uh, we are able to make some operation with this, uh, with this dump uh, to uh, try um, get access, uh, try to find some data and uh, probably upload uh, the read dump into uh, PC3000 flash kernel mode and um, create a, a common task. Probably we will get um, additional uh, data from it. Uh, and the final uh, option is drive test. Uh, the first one uh, is test of flash chips. Uh, if you will click on it, uh, our utility will try to read uh, all chip ID in our SSD drive. Uh, um, right here we can see that all chips uh, are read well and there is no problem. But sometimes um, in this 
string's uh, chip ID could be missed, and it means that uh, SSD drive have some mechanical um, problems uh, in PCB, uh, probably some bad soldering uh, between uh, memory chips and uh, PCB, and uh, we should firstly uh, fix this SSD drive before we will try to cover it or probably to repair it with um, factory reset. And for fixing such drives, we should to bomb the whole uh, PCB, the whole SSD drive uh, with um, hot air gun, with soldering station, uh, and after that, the aluminium will be um, melt and um, uh, contact will be restored. So, the last option is enable external extended tech mode. Uh, we can activate this uh, extended tech mode um, at the first step of um, uh, uh, utility initialization and uh, after that we will be able to save uh, dumps from this uh, drive with eliminated preparations.